Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we really want to use BWM pools with modulation, which we have learned in a previous video, on an LED. So we are choosing an output on our Arduino and we want to control the brightness of a LED. Of course the LED will be put in exactly the same way as before. Uh, so I will select here in line number 20, I will make the plus pole and in line number 19 there is the, the minus pole, the cathode. I will use this resistor going to ground from 19 to ground and the only thing, here I have to connect the ground line of course to the Arduino. I will also connect plus 5 volt even if I do not really need it. Okay. And the only thing now is I have to select um, pin number. Huh? We are entering here the LED. Yeah. Let's see if this is working. I am using now the cable. Plug, plug it in. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. C plus 5 volt, okay, it's turning on, and I am selecting pin number 3. This should work. Huh? So from pin number 3 to the plus of the, of the LED via the resistor to ground. That's it. And now we want to select the brightness of this thing. Huh? Good. Yeah, so let's start. Let's open a new program. Here I have already opened a new program. And I will now oh, save this under decent name. Save as yeah, programs. And I will select here. And this is now 11. And I will call it analog out. Analog out. I will again use compile time constant, so I will define define an LED pin. This time LED pin is three, yeah? and I define a delay value. Why this is, we will see. Yeah? Delay value. Setup. Oh. Uh, well, the pin mode, of course, of pin number three is output, so we have to select pin mode here, yeah. and the LED pin must be of type output. Okay, this is good. Define LED pin as an output. And now in the loop, I want simply to make start this from dark going to brighter and from very bright to to low yeah so i need an a variable yeah, which i can change okay so there's an int integer variable should be sufficient from 0 to 255 i need this then the value initial value is 0 okay and then now we have a new command a for loop. It's written like this. There's for, and then there is an initial condition of the value. Value equals zero. Okay? This is the initial condition. And then we define how long it should be. And this is value shall be smaller than 255. This is the condition until if this is no longer met, the for loop will end. Yeah? And well, what should happen to value? Value should be increased. Every time the loop is uh, running through, value should be increased. Here you can write any formula. Good. Yeah. So whatever is now between those two brackets is inside the so-called for loop. Yeah. Value will start at the value of zero. Yeah. And until value is smaller than 255, value will be increased one time and then whatever is inside here will be executed. And what do we want to execute? Well, it's easy. 
we want to make an analog right okay and we want to make the analog right to the led pin uh, and with the with the value and now since this for loop is really really fast yeah it would take microseconds yeah and to count up to 255 if you have microseconds it is not even taking some milliseconds maybe yeah? maybe some milliseconds it would just look like turning on so we have to delay here and this is why i i use this delay value over there delay wow yeah? what is this thing now doing it's starting with value zero putting out zero waiting for 10 milliseconds in this case then increasing the value by one comparing to 255 value is now one okay it's smaller than 255 so we will execute whatever is inside here yeah so this part will be executed for zero value zero one two three four five six blah, 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 up to 254 if we have output 254 here it will wait increase to 255 255 is no longer smaller than 255 because it's equal and then we will resume after the loop and after the loop we do exactly the same but this time we're starting from 255 so from full brightness and the, as long as value is bigger than zero and we will decrease value good huh? so this will now make the led starting from zero to bright and this will start from very bright to zero huh? and this delay value is slowing this down simply okay save i think we are ready to check it yeah? so upload this thing have a look flashing ah getting brighter getting brighter and, and less bright do we also see this on the camera make this yeah yeah and yeah on the camera you even see it flickering i see you see it flickering with the naked eye i cannot see it flickering it's working very smooth this is simply because you with the shutter frequency of the camera and the frequency pwm frequency of the of the arduino it you see this flickering but in in real it's too fast for us yeah? some of the pins do have around 500 hertz pwm frequency some have even one kilohertz around a little bit less even yeah? uh, it's not very fast the usual pwm frequencies are in kilohertz area so some thousand hertz but for for our eye it's fast enough it's looking very smooth huh? and we can also make it a little bit slower if we select now a delay value of 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 50 i've changed it now to 50 upload huh? let's see what is going on then you see it is going on a little bit slower getting slower bright uh, until it's full bright and then it's getting slower now it's a little bit slower you should see it even a little bit more flickering in the camera yeah yeah, yeah. you see it pa, 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 pa. With the naked eye this is not there this is not there yeah so this is this is uh analog output huh? analog output you can try it yeah you can try to combine what we've done last time yeah you can make two buttons in there so analog input a digital input this is what i mean what we've done last time digital inputs two digital inputs one or if make one digital input even better yeah one digital input if you press the button it will get brighter until you release the button it will stay as bright 
And if you press the button a second time, it will get darker again. Yeah? And if you release the button, it will also stay. Yeah? So every time you press the button, if you press them a third time the button, it should get brighter again. So every second time you press the button, it will get brighter. Every other time, it will get darker. Huh? So some dimmer. Huh? Dimming. LED dimming with the touch of one button. Huh? You could try this. Huh? Simply add an analog, a digital input. <sighs> analog out. Not really analog, right? Now we're talking about analog inputs for the next video. In the next videos, we're talking about analog inputs. And these are really, really uh, analog. Therefore, we need some more information. Yeah? We will then talk about also in the next videos about yeah, what is an analog digital converter? Yeah? What, how do we get a portion of a voltage and so on. Some theory uh, will then be in next videos and then we will try to use a potentiometer and read something in. Yeah? Next videos then. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.